Double honors and salutations to the elders and apostles of Grip and Store Rule Well, uh, but I'm not in DC camp. It's uh, another lesson just to keep uh, our camera aware that it shouldn't be carried away with Esau's, uh, you know, gimmicks, his trickery, his ways of deceit to. Uh, to conquer people, all right, because this idea of Esau, you know, pushing the cryptocurrency <laughs> wave, there's always a catch to it, always a catch, all right, and that's the reason why you see there in almost every country on the face of the earth, there's always an idea that the elites want to put money towards so they could fund the, the so called uh, digital revolution. Right, they want to move away from all that uh, paper currency, so they could have more control over the people with their with their network surveillance. All right, they want to digitize everything, every every commercial activity. All right, they don't want no more paperwork. <laughs> they want uh, a digital trail, something that they could, you know, record on their digital system. And use at any point in time. All right, they don't have to rely on faxes anymore. <laughs> All they gotta do is just click a button, and they have it there. You know, build a database of information that they've been gathering. All right, so it's beautiful. All right, we see the the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. You know, we see every angle that they're marketing it. You know. To, that they're using to market it to make it uh, conducive and exciting to this so-called uh, millennials all right and uh, just imagine <laughs> you know how, how intense it's gonna be in these last days so I play this video and then you can see exactly what Esau has been up to all right Alright, so I'm going to get a quick precept here from the book of Second uh, Peter, chapter 2. I'm going to read from verses 2 and 3. Alright, so it says, uh, And many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And that's exactly what our people have been uh, have been pushing for, all right, to be part of Esau's system. You know, they're not really going to give the Lord Yahweh Shema Shah his full, his full, his full credit. You know, they don't want to glorify the Lord Yahweh Shema Shah in sincerity and in truth. All right, they want to say that the Bible's a fairy tale, it's false, that the so called white man put it together. All right, so just imagine, you know, the the ignorance of our people <laughs> and uh, the anger and the animosity they have towards the words of the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Alright, so Yahushai said they don't want to, Yahushai said they don't listen to him, they will not listen to us. Alright, and uh, you can't change what the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai has made crooked, you can't straighten it. Alright, they've already been condemned, you know, their mind has already been set with a hot iron, you know, they've been marked for destruction, alright, and that's what this church is like to do, they like to make merchandise of the ignorance of our people, alright, because these churches have already made a pact with the devil, alright, 
this church has refused to uh, share the proper doctrine of the Lord here by Shema Shai. And when they watch the video of the, of the man of the Lord on highways and byways, they want to find a way to come against, <laughs> you know, the, the gospel. All right, they always want to resist the Holy Spirit. All right, so they could maintain their standard of uh, of uh, of the butchery, the standard of you know their lifestyle. You know, they want to leave that glamorous so-called prosperity pastor lifestyle, private jets and all that stuff, expensive suits, you know, expensive homes. All right, so uh, just just imagine, you know, what they're willing to do. All right, and then verse three says, and true covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you all right so they want to do everything you know in their in their power to see what they can do against us so they could get more money from the people and that's exactly what sonata sonata likes to do man <laughs> you always like to create a false narrative so you could have a so-called debate so you could make a money uh, make, he, could, he could make a killing, you know. Everything about Sonata is always about the money. He doesn't care about the doctrine. He just want to see, you know, uh, he just want to see an, uh, uh, an opportunity to create an argument so he could bring people in there <laughs> to his so-called uh, venues and uh, have them pay, you know, uh, you know, so-called uh, attendance fee. All right? Because at the end of the day, man, he's just wanna, he just want to laugh all the way to the bank. Right, then it says, so whose judgment now or for a long time longer right not, and their damnation slumber right not. And that's uh, what the Lord Yabashima Shai has in store for them, man, because of the, the men of the Lord that have been preaching day in, day out that this so called RFID chip is the mark of the beast. All right, it's Esau's uh, way of saying he owns someone. You know, he wants to prove that uh, he has the power on the face of the earth. So he wants to own everybody. He wants to control every living soul. All right. He doesn't want to live in peace. He wants to create so much turmoil and drive the people out of their mind. But pray the Lord, Yahweh, by Shema Shah, strengthens your resolve, strengthens your faith to overcome. All right. You see that? The blockchain. Alright. Just like you had the ball and chain, you have the block and chain. Alright, so our people, <laughs> you know, <laughs> once they get attached to each other's system, that's it for them. You know, the block and chain, block and chain mentality, the block and chain doctrine. That's what Esau likes to push to our people. You know, to make our people depend on him for sustenance. But uh, for the elect, you understand how far we have to go in this system and how to avoid, you know, the mindset, you know, this so called inside joke. And these so called young folks, they're already, you know, just in the elite. You know, that's why they're able to get all these uh, lucrative positions, you know. They join all these uh, secret societies. They could make a <laughs> make a so-called uh, prosperous future for themselves and their children. You know, you told the you told the mobsters were the were the real deal. But these elites, <laughs> they're on a on a different level. All right. So just gotta pray, Lord, that by Shema Shai creates a way for you through the Son Yahweh Shai to overcome this madness. So this is uh, the Book of Revelation, chapter three, verse ten. And then it says, um, all right, so it says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will keep thee from the hour of temptation. That's the time we live, you know, we're getting closer to, man. The time when Esau says, you, you know, unless you have the RFID chip, all right, you will not be able to participate in any commercial activity. All right, because uh, we have all these ongoing attacks of terrorism, we need to know. Who, who, who's been verified, you know, and a lot of people are going to complain, there's going to be so much turmoil. So this is just going to last, the last glimpse, you know, the last uh, glimpse I'm going to play from the video, you know, because if you watch the whole video, it's going to show you 
how she was able to link her so-called uh, Bitcoin wallet <laughs> to the RFID chip. All right. And then when you read uh, Revelation chapter 14, verses 9 and 10, it tells you that uh, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, all right, you should go along with Esau's doctrine, all right, for new order, this democracy, all right, this new, new age gender, all that stuff. And you receive the mark of the beast. That it doesn't matter if the person does one or both. The person is marked for destruction and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. So it doesn't matter if it's the right hand or, or the or the left hand or the forehead. Once they fulfill one of those uh, requirements, that's their ass. All right. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture. In the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb and that's exactly what uh, Esau's plan to do to deceive the people to control them but the Lord Yabashim says whosoever fall into that pit <laughs> that Esau has been laying destruction or is going to come upon them and when you read the uh, book of First Peter, chapter 5, verses 8 and 9, it says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So Jesus is going to keep on looking for people to uh, push his agenda, you know, of this RFID system of... Uh, going digital when it comes to currency and all that transaction you hear about the war on cash you hear about the transition from having credit card debit cards gift cards you know to having uh, the, the, the RFID chip you know Sweden is a good example so it's being promoted all over the earth you know this idea of biohacking all right that's what Esau likes he likes to make a uh, you know a travesty you know it likes to make scene look palatable to the people but for the man of the Lord we, we, we fight you know we understand what what are we experiencing in these last days all right and then it says uh, whom resist steadfast in the faith knowing the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world so you have to resist this is ideologies by not going along with it. You know, simple, no, thank you, goodbye, adios. <laughs> not for me, sorry. No, because it's not our bread and butter. This society is not really our bread and butter. It's not the end all be all. We have greater things to look forward to in the kingdom. All right? So I pray, Lord, that by Shema Shai blesses, your, you know, blesses you with the courage to overcome. All right, and uh, you can't uh, you can't do this by yourself, man. You need the spirit of Lord Abashim Ashai to be upon you. All right, to 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 excel, you know, to come out of this temptation. All right, because these are the times of Jacob's troubles we're going into. All right, so this is the book of uh, James, chapter four, I'm going to start from verse five. So it says, Do you think that the scripture said in vain, the spirit that dwelt that dwelt in us lost that to envy? Yeah, because the spirit of the Lord Yahweh Shemasha put it in us seeks righteousness. He does not want to get entangled with the with the doctrine of this world. Alright, that's why the Lord Yahweh Shemasha, you know, punishes two thirds and uh, he chastises his servants of prophets so we could he could build us up in righteousness all right and then it says but he gives grace but he giveth more grace wherefore he said how i resisted the proud but he giveth grace unto the humble so whatever the lord thereby shima shai has in store for his servants of prophets they're going to receive it but for those that have a problem with the gospel um, do not want to return to the Lord Yah by Shima Shai. The Mosai is gonna hey cut him off. 
you know, so they could partake in the destruction that's coming upon the face of the earth. That's going to be their reward for uh, for refusing the gospel of salvation, the gospel of Yahweh Shai. All right, and this is verse seven, James chapter four, verse seven. Submit yourselves, therefore, to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. All right. So, when Esau knows he cannot conquer you, he cannot conquer your spirit. You have to go. <laughs> you have to go somewhere else, man. You know, he has to go to another option. You know, because that's why the Lord Yahweh Hashem is going to make our our mind strong in these last days is going to strengthen our faith so we'll be able to resist all right the enemy all right so we'll be able to uh, avoid getting the mark of the beast all right so he'll try to use our family members against us but hey it's not going to work all right he'll try everything you know to come against us by the end of the day you know we're going to have the victory over the serpent and that's what the Lord Yahweh Shai has promised us. So that's the point that I came. All right, you don't want to be in that in that mindset. Just like you see on the screen, the block and chain. <laughs> yeah, you get. We gotta be careful in these last days, man, because our uh, uh, jobs that we have on the earth is not that important compared to the works of the prophets. So you gotta understand when it's time to walk away from uh, this carnal kind of lifestyle you know folks on the job telling you that well you gotta go along with the government you know you gotta comply you know that stuff you just tell them left no you're moving on the lord about shima shah will supply all your needs all right shalom